Hello, I'm Eric Apple, principal and founder of Eric Apple Law. Welcome to today's blog pod. Today, we're talking about the growing problem of guardianship abuse. When people hear the word guardianship, they tend to think about minor children who have not yet come of age. However, it can also include our elders. Guardianship is not necessarily age-related. Guardianship itself is a legal process designed to protect individuals who are known as wards or incapacitated persons, unable to care for their own well-being due to age, disability, or other circumstances. A guardian makes important and ongoing decisions for their ward. They have the legal authority to act on behalf of them and a responsibility to oversee, protect, and care for their interests, personal matters, and family affairs. When it comes to senior guardianship, tragically, predators are increasingly exploiting the system to take advantage of our vulnerable yet valuable elders for personal gain. The guardianship process for seniors typically begins when a family member, or in some instances, a social worker, notifies the court that the individual in question is no longer able to care for themselves. In many situations, it is as simple as the court naming a family member as guardian. However, there are some situations when families can't agree on who should act as guardian, or no family members are available to assume this responsibility. The court then appoints a public guardian, also known as a professional guardian. In theory, these public guardians are neutral parties dedicated solely to the well-being of the ward appointed to them by the court. Unfortunately, problems may arise when states fail to adequately monitor guardians, thereby enabling unscrupulous guardians to take advantage of their wards and often their assets. And, even well-intentioned public guardians may lack the appropriate resources to carry out their duties. To give you an idea of some of the numbers, according to the Auditor for the Guardianship Fraud Program in Palm Beach County, Florida, one and a half million adults in the United States are under the care of guardians who are either family members or professionals. And these guardians control approximately $273 billion in assets. Given such a large sum of assets, the potential for guardianship abuse is enormous and continues to rise with an aging population. Fortunately, the work of advocacy groups has led to improvements in the system, highlighted the problems, and increased awareness. However, there remains much to be done to combat this form of elder abuse. The guardianship process can oftentimes be overwhelming and expensive. A number of tools and strategies, such as powers of attorney, can be used to avoid the possibility of guardianship. You may find it prudent to discuss planning strategies and instruments available to you and your loved ones now before any time of crisis or need. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to visit our new website at ericapplelaw.com, where you can find out more, give us a call, or drop us a note, and we'll be happy to help you. Until next time, thank you for listening. Please like, follow, and share so we can make sure the people we care for are protected and their best interests are secure.